सो इन दिस नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ लेक्चर विल डिस्कस अबाउट फर्स्ट डिक्रीज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ एसेट एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ रिवेल्यूशन एंड देन सब्सिक्वेंटली इंक्रीज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ एसेट एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ रिवेल्यूशन सो वी हैव बिन गिवन एग्जाम्पल दैट कॉस्ट ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग इज वन थाउजेंड लाइफ इज फाइव ईयर एंड ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी टू थाउजेंड टू द बिल्डिंग इज रिवेल्यू टू सिक्स हंड्रेड हाउ टू रिकॉर्ड दिस इवेंट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू रिकॉर्ड द डिप्रिसिएशन चार्ज फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड वन डिप्रिसिएशन चार्ज वुड बी द सेम एज रिकॉर्डेड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ लेक्चर दैट इज टू हंड्रेड नाउ वी नीड टू कंसिडर वट इज द एंट्री ऑफ रिवेल्यूशन ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी टू थाउजेंड टू First, we have to restate the asset to its fair value, which is now six hundred. So, from one thousand to six hundred, there is a decrease in the value of building by four hundred. Then, in the previous year, the depreciation charge would be recorded two hundred should be removed by debiting accumulated depreciation two hundred. and further decrease in the value of asset would be recorded in the statement of profit and loss as expense and that is again 200 so this would be the entry for recording depreciation uh, for recording revaluation first revaluation now after this first revaluation the depreciation charge would be that would be 600 revalued amount divided by remaining life four year and that is 150 so this is the entry for recording depreciation after revaluation now we need to consider first there is a decrease in the value of asset and subsequently the subsequent revaluation increase the value of asset and how it should be recorded continuing with the above example if the next year building is revalued to 1200 building is revalued from 600 to 1200 then the first step is to restate the value of asset by debiting building by 600 second step After first revaluation, the depreciation charge should be removed by debiting accumulated depreciation. Right. And third, we need to consider the carrying value and the fair value, and difference would be recorded. The carrying value is said to be six hundred minus one fifty four fifty. and the fair value is 1200 so there is a difference of 750 but remember that this is actually quite important remember that if you have recorded expense in the first year then in the next year this amount of 200 as a result of first revaluation this amount is recorded as expense now first we need to remove that amount of expense that was amount of 200 but i am writing here 150 why it is so it is because i will record this entry again because it is not clearly visible there right this is the entry pass after first revaluation we have recorded depreciation expense of 150 the original depreciation expense as per our original value of asset is 200 so as a result of first revaluation we have a decrease in the depreciation expense by 50 means 
we should have record an expense of 200 but we have record an expense of 150 as a result of revaluation so there's a decrease in the expense of 50 and that 50 has already been credited so the 200 amount that already has recorded as an expense is reduced by that 50 and it would be credited by 150 now the remaining difference would be recorded in the revaluation surplus first if there is an increase in the value of depreciation as a result of revaluation it would be transferred to retain earning by passing entry revaluation surplus to retain earning but if there is a decrease in the value of depreciation expense as a result of revaluation such difference would not be recorded by passing an entry it would be next uh, it would be recorded as a reduction in expense in the next year when there is an increase in the value of asset as a result of revaluation so again the amount we have recorded as expense original expense of depreciation is 200 but as a result of first revaluation the expense has reduced to 150 it means that we have recorded less amount as expense as compared to original this is 150 so less 50 amount has been recorded as expense so this less 150 amount that has already been transferred to profit and loss as credit would be reduced this 200 200 to 150 so now in the last year we have recorded depreciation charge 150 while original depreciation charge is 200 already 50 dollar expense was under costed so one further 150 is credited here so that is how it would be recorded so there are few practice question you can consider these questions solve try to solve these question if there is any problem ask me i will explain it further to you and in the next part of lecture we will consider about the timing of revaluation and its effect on depreciation charge